which is for use by U.S. and European emergency preparedness and recreation customers. Over the next five years, we will bring clean cooking and electricity access to over one million homes across India and Sub-Saharan Africa. Jonathan is on the right side of your screen. He cannot react to our critiques just yet. Our panel today, Diana Olick, CNBC's real estate reporter, John Steinberg, the president and COO of BuzzFeed. He's a former executive in residence at Polaris Ventures and was the development manager at Google's small medium business partnerships team. Folks, let's huddle up. Your initial reactions, Diana? I'm interested in how he's going to bring it to the domestic market here in the U.S., especially when we talk about emergency preparedness and also when we talk about moving some of the things we do in the home outside the home. Well, Tyler, actually, during Sandy in Washington Square Park, Jonathan had these all set up charging people's cell phones. It actually made the New York Times. So that's when I first saw the product. I think it's very exciting. I'm curious about a few things. What are the margin impacts? What does it cost to actually make this thing? Jonathan Cedar is with us now. Come on in. Welcome. Good to see you. You brought your stove. You're now officially with your stove, appropriately enough, in what we call the hot seat. We're going to ask you a few questions here, and you get to answer and respond to our panels. Jonathan, why don't you ask Jonathan the first? So I really want to understand, what's the connection between the cook stove and the home stove? Is there a cross-subsidy? Is it like Tom's Shoes? And then how does that impact the margin? We're not like Tom's Shoes. It's, it's very different. So the camp stove is a near-term accessible market for us that provides long-term investment capital into the aging markets where... Over the long run, we see a very profitable business, but we know it'll take us a longer time and more capital to get there. Diana? Well, when you talk about the emerging markets, who exactly are you selling to, and how are you going to market it there? Are you going to look at governments? Are you going to look at organizations that go to these countries and help these people? Um, we're a manufacturer and a wholesaler. We work with local retailers in those markets who really understand their communities, who already have a proven model of distribution for energy and energy-related products in their markets. Uh, our stoves will sell for about the same price as a cell phone in those markets, and so we believe that'll be accessible for most what of us. What will you sell it for, this little device, in the camp stores to get it started, and then what will the pricing be? In U.S. markets, this is $130. Uh, it's for sale at BioLightStove.com right now, and it'll be out at REI and other large-scale retailers through the spring. Um, we're targeting a retail price of $40 for the home stove, which is a different product than the camp stove. It's larger. It's made for cooking for families of five to eight, which is the size of a typical family in, say, India. Jonathan, what's the domestic market on that? And, and distribution-wise, how many campers are out there that can buy this, and how do you get it to them? The camp stove was just about recreation markets, and I think after Hurricane Sandy, we really saw that there's a much broader application in emergency preparedness markets and wanting to have a, a low-cost, on-demand solution for when we need it. And so, right. um, you know, the camping market is probably actually a minority share of what we believe we can do in developed markets. All right, folks, it's now is the moment of truth. You've heard what Jonathan had to say. So, John, are you in or out on BioLife? I think the product is innovative. Um, I do think that the camping market does make a lot of sense for it. I think it's beautifully designed. I think it's priced right. I think he's gotten a lot of great marketing around it. So I am in. Diana, you in or out? So many people are thinking about emergency preparedness this now because of Hurricane Sandy, even going back to Katrina. All you have to do is go into a hardware store the day before a storm and see the shelves empty, and you know what this market is for. People are getting ready more and more. And also, of course, the third implications are huge, so I'm in. I'm in too. It cooks, it charges, it walks the dog, <laughs> it cooks eggs. I like it. I'm in for that. Jonathan, thank you very much. Jonathan of BioLife uh, for joining us and uh, to our panel, Diana and John. And that is the Power Pitch. Three yeses. How about you? We want to hear from